Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are starting a new game called Tell Me Why. If you haven't heard of this game already, it is made by the same publishers as um, Life is Strange 1 and Life is Strange 2. Hold on, sorry, she really, she wants to say hi again. <laughs> she, she didn't look like she wanted to say hi. I have played this game once before. I played it back in 2020 and it is a little bit shorter than the Life is Strange games. It's only around like nine hours or so. Let's get right into chapter one. Isn't Don't Nod the one that's making the new Lost Records game too? I think it's, I think it's Don't Nod. March 1st, 2005 in Alaska. Everyone pay attention, take notes. Take notes, take notes. <laughs> hey kiddo. Oh, it's deck nine. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? That is blood on their hands. Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... Oh, fuck. I remember this a little so tiny I bit. Her. I killed my mother. Holy cow. What a beginning to the game. Oh, my goodness. I totally forgot that it was a thing. I don't really remember this game much. Oh, my goodness. That's a crazy start to the game. <laughs> wow. It just jumps right in there. Yeah. All right, so it was 2005 in that last scene. So now it's 2015, so it's 10 years later. That was a good intro. Yeah, that was good. I like that, I like that. Gotta have the good, um, good soundtracks. Is she getting ready for a date? Hi. Oh, it's a welcome back teddy bear. That's the other girl, right? That's her. Snacks and drinks, car keys, something else. keys map of alaska that's where the uh first scene took place like forever ago okay first i'm gonna find the keys to the old house then hi allison drive to fireweed and i'm not going to freak out We're not. everything's fine everything's fine this room gives me um oh my goodness it gives me chloe vibes from uh from or not chloe vibes sorry uh uh 
Uh, Rachel vibes. Her room had a ton of like stars and Probably planets. Probably not gonna see any stars at this time of day. I don't really have time to dig through this right now. Why would it be in here? I don't know. I don't know where it's supposed to be. Goodness. Oh, right. I stashed them down here. They're right there. Grab them. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. That doll had boobies. This feels like another lifetime. All right. Can I read this note? I right think here? I'm ready to go now. No. Put the box back. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler'd want to go. I need to bring this with me to Juno. Oh, I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box. Let's open our drawers. Is that my prom date? Why do I still have this? Every know. time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Oh, prom 2012. Okay, so we're in college. So we're probably like... 22? 22 maybe around there? I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. All right, let's leave. Ready. Hi, Mormo. How are you? Uh, Allie, she's going to be so awkward. Okay. What does it say? <laughs> okay, dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Okay, so this is a letter from the character that we were just playing as to the character that we're now playing as, Tyler. So Alice said to Tyler. Sophie dear Tyler. Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with an email? Well, I figured, hey, bro, just wanted to give my twin... Oh, they're twins. Hey, bro, I just want to give my twin a shout before reuniting after 10 years of swank juvie is more like letter territory. Oh! So did Tyler go to juvie then for stabbing his mom? Uh, reuniting after 10 years of swank juvie is more like letter territory. Whatever, you'll thank me when... We're 90 and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candlelight. T, always thinking ahead. Anyways, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up. And you can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot and we can't all be car guys. Anyways... The Vecchies let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to think. Oh, can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Allison. Okay. Siblings. I'm wondering, have you guys, have I'm you guys, about to leave this have you guys caught on? Time. Okay. I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. Have you guys caught on who Tyler is? What happened in the beginning and why we are where we are is the question. Thank you for the tier two eight month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Uh, oh, and this is, uh, oh, this is my letter to Aaron. Hey, Aaron, you know, I'm bad at this, but just wanted to say you've been the best counselor and at risk yet redeemable youth could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping me in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it count outside. Uh, fire well. Fireweed. 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 Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Is it? 
anyone understanding what's happening. <laughs> so if you guys can't figure it out by now, uh, I'm currently playing as Tyler. Tyler was the character in the very beginning of the game that said that he stabbed his mom. And he stabbed his mom in a form of what we at least know of right now, self-defense, because his mom tried killing him because he was born a girl and then cut his hair. Now he is taking testosterone. He's transgender. This, that is, this is what's happening. So his mom tried killing him because he cut his hair in the very beginning of the game. And she is transphobic. Bye, Herbert. Bye, Herbert. Show my CDs. Bomb <laughs> to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Let's get our tunes. Oh, uh, gonna miss these dum dums. Dum dums. I just need to pack my goblin figurine. Oh shoot! Sorry, I, I didn't even know. Allison still has hers. Oh, she did. I saw it actually. Hey, guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Oh, they both still have it. That's so cute. This could that look at that view. That's crazy. That's crazy. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. I have a first in-game collectible. Man, nice. I missed that view. Yeah, that is an insane view, actually. Um. Shit, I gotta do. Okay, so we tutor people. We help Perez with college admission essay. Call Dr. Beck. Finish paperwork. What is this? Man, he's going places. And I'll be able to say I helped him on his way. Tyler. What's me? Am I 20? Tell me why. Oh, crap. I didn't water my plant. Was there an option to water that plant? Because I just didn't. I definitely did not. But I'm also, like, leaving, right? Does it matter? I, am I even going back there anytime soon? Someone else will take care of it. The graphics in this game are so nice. Like, his eyes are so detailed. <laughs> hey, that's littering! You couldn't have waited? That's crazy. Imagine not seeing your sibling or your twin after 10 years. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry. I. It's fine, Allison. Oh, gosh. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> I mean, it would be Likewise. hard not to be awkward after, like, not seeing someone for 10 years. It's, like, a little awkward. You have anything else you need to so get? So much has nope. happened. This is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local like his coffee jacket. shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep. We're screwed. <laughs> so... Are you gonna miss anything about this place? The people and the food, probably, but the people. Honestly, actually, I don't know if the food was good or not. People, the other residents, my mentees, my counselor Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe, safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one more. I like her car. Anything? Looked. Let's go. I um uh, was driving. And I passed someone's uh, garage in the neighborhood the other day and their garage door was open so you could like see the car inside or whatever and they had like a classic like 19 
like 65, like beige no, Mustang. Really. I am 100% not creative and enough to make garage. that stuff up. Oh, so and nice. just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they could What's happening? Leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Oh, we're on a boat. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? I told you guys. I was like, how are we moving? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? Yeah, that is kind of weird. I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. <sighs> I can't believe you got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. The graphics are really nice. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. So pretty. Yeah, it's gonna make me want to go to Alaska too. What the heck? What about you, Allison? Does the cold oh. though? Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Oh. Small town life that bad. Hmm. Mm, mm. That bad? Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school. Oh, was that the guy that she but went to prom miss him with? Moved to Juno. How's he doing? Good, good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? There's one. Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's yeah, this totally is gorgeous. haunted. What? Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out, at least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh, that house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. Is that like the house that I like, grew up in? So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we are. I'm I assume, think the house will I assume so. No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder okay, houses yeah, with is. no electricity. <laughs> well, that's it's got one hell of a probably view, a unlike little like Juno. Traumatic. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. 
Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Go back to the place hey, where your mom tried to shoot you and you had question? to stab her to defend yourself? It's kind of insane. Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Ah. That's the graphics. Yeah, not, not very uh, populated at all. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? Oh, it's her. It's a matching ring that she has. It's a gift. From Eddie. Who's Eddie? I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown. As in the police officer who arrested me. Oh, Come on, Ty. Don't. And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. Oh, 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 Fire oh, oh. administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, well, oh. it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. So it's the guy Please. who adopted Allison Me? after... He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. After Tyler went to... It's a gift, Tyler. Juvie? You know what gift giving means in Clinket culture and what it means to refuse one. I mean, like, I understand, like, why Tyler wouldn't want to accept that either, but again, I'm going to try and be better than I probably would be in real life if I was Tyler right now. So, no, no kithing. <laughs> We're siblings. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. Exactly. Yes, no, I stand by that. You could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> okay, and then he's also the person Hard that got pass. or arrested me. Question mark. Yeah, this game is. Uh, well, this game was also made after the Life is Strange games. So obviously, Did technology advanced. But especially going from Life is Strange 1 to this game, the graphics are insanely different. This game is really pretty. Is that a whale? What is that? Whoa. Okay. They just have like the best. No place like home. Yeah. They just have like the best view ever. And there's a Would whale jumping out of the water. I I to call home. Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. The question is, why didn't... Is his name Eddie or Chief Brown or whatever? Why didn't he let Allison visit so weird being back Tyler? Yeah. That him now. Hey, man. Sorry hmm. for snooping. But I am not sorry enough to not do it. Impressive, ain't she? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. You plan in a land of moose with that? Good eye. Want to draw on a bull tag on this way. You got your license and tag on you? <laughs> Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. You hunt? Nope. I fish, mostly. No shame in that. Anyway, you'll find there's lots of good fishing spots around here. If you know what to look for. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Mm, 
If I say born and bred, he's gonna be like, why haven't I seen you before? So I'm just gonna say just visiting. Just in town for a few days. This guy's a stranger anyways. Any relatives in the area? My sister, and she's moving soon. This a goodbye trip then? <laughs> Something like that. I'm Alex, by the way. Hi, Alex. Alex Gershwin, no relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um. Who? Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off in the past. Oh. Uh. Well. What'd you say your name was? He doesn't, he doesn't need my last name. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. When everything else fails, try doing what Charlie. the captain suggested. Huh. Huh. Who's this? Canoe for sale. Love a good, love a good canoe. Bed and breakfast. Got a dance performance going on. You know what I really like doing? I really like uh, paddle boarding. I haven't gone paddle boarding in a while though. Paddle boarding is really fun. Hey, Allison, can we take this scenic route instead of the highway? Is she still on the phone? Allison? Hello? Wait, I'm not ready to join her. I need to snoop in the car. I think I'm gonna sit in the car for the rest of the ride. Are you sure? It's way more interesting out here. It smells better too. You're right. I'll stay on deck. I shall join you. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. I hey, guess. Didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no. That was on the lake. Oh, uh, they pulled that one out. What? No. Man, so many good memories. Of pushing me into the lake? Yep. <laughs> the neighbor kid was the one who pushed you in all the time. Yeah. What's he up to? Bobby? I, uh, kind of dated him. <gasps> no the way. The tea. Yeah. I always seem to attract the assholes. Another reason why I'm not dating right now. I've actually ever been canoeing. I've been kayaking a few times. What's the difference? Is canoe just you have two separate paddles? And then kayak you have the one and you go back and forth? What's 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 the difference? Well, I know the boat's different too. <laughs> Alaska looks like a bigger New Zealand. Oh my goodness. I definitely got to visit Alaska then. So Alaska is a little bit closer, a little bit closer than uh, New Zealand for me. Oh, I want to go on that over there. I like the downtime it gives you to just kind of like look around. You still get to see new stuff. What is this? Beer is my sport. Check my six pack. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Holy. Let's go. That's funny. <laughs> I 
I've got to get me one of those stickers. <laughs> it's... <laughs> uh... No, I don't know what you're talking about. So has she just lived here then with Eddie or whatever? <laughs> this has got to bring up a lot of bad memories for Tyler. Oof. Playing this game makes me want to go outside. <laughs> but then it's like 100 degrees and there's no greenery immediately where I'm at. But good for them. Oh yeah, I would go outside all the time if I lived in a place like that too. That's crazy. Imagine waking up to like a view like that. You guys go outside and that's just where you're at. Wow. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? That's sure. what I was thinking. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Also valid. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. Okay, wait. I don't know why I asked if this is where she lived, because I literally to do it. Sorry, I like blanked. I know this is not where she lives. <laughs> because we saw her in her house at the beginning of this. After you. Uh, did you smoke something before you left fireweed? Sorry, I was the just right I there. was just looking! Well, it's locked anyways, so. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remember this. Well, then why did you have me try to open the door if you knew that you had the keys? You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would have changed the locks? Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. Good plan. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. I feel like, I haven't played this game in a while, so I can't say if this game is better than Life the is crafty Strange. crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. It's different. Or should I say, us. Definitely we same vibe. more time as goblins than we did as kids. Better oh, graphics. Do you remember all the other characters? The Moon Hag, the Ice King, the Old Bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No. Look at their view. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Imagine waking up and then that's your view. That's crazy. That's probably not going to be open. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. It is yep. indeed. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? Nope. Girl, where is she? Oh. Well, I'm gonna pry this off. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. 
Which yeah, the environment here is the very way, detailed. Squeezed through. So we need something to pry it off. Use your brute strength. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Surely, surely the shed would have a screwdriver. Ugh. Can't, I cannot imagine this being your view. Just break the glass, throw a rock at the door. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily, remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. Gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. Sh at least the shed's still standing. Surely. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Hey, it's locked, all right. Mmm, the window. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. Well, I see a screwdriver hey, right there. I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um, I'm feeling something strange. What? Oh God, what's happening? Hold to focus on your bond? Like my bond with my twin? Oh. Oh. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know. No fun. way that, that key's one's still there. To help the princess. Not play mean tricks. Whatever. You're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa. Did that just happen? I don't know. But I saw it too. What? It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us ten Twin years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so, and uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. Well, it probably has the key somewhere. I'm feeling something again. What? Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Oh. 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 Go see the silent frog. Coming, I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already, I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. Oh. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Oh, we could just lift them all up. First try. So. Which one no, of you is hiding the key? Hmm? These wooden frogs remind me of the wooden bears that you see on the side of the gas station in Life is Strange 2. That is very specific, but... Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. Those have been there for so long. That's insane. And we're in. Give me this. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? What is this? 
Is that bird food? I think it. I want it. Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Close the door! Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? She always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Someone screwed that in instead of nailing it in? Very interesting. All right, go ahead, Allison. Are That's sure all you. you. Go in there. This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Imagine the spider webs. Everything okay down there? Tyler? <gasps> I saw that coming. That's not funny. <laughs> That's and why am I not laughing? Funny. Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. I'm going by myself. Leaving me to do this by myself. Oh, well, we can really only go one way, so let's go this way. Ouch. Watch your head! What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? What? Hi. I'm outside. So they're just thinking? But I can hear you in my head. What the? Our voice. It's back. They got their twin oh, powers. shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. I think... Dragons, straight ahead. I need to go left, I think. And left again after the goblins. Left after the goblins. Oh. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. The left of the goblins? Is this not the goblin? Or is this the goblin? Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Oh. Wait. That was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Pink. It always had to be pink. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. All right. Pass the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. Oh, I found the opening. I'm inside. He doesn't like closing doors, huh? We didn't close the doors after us in the shed. We should have closed the little latch. Or the hatch right now. You know what? I'll give him I'll give him a pass. It's probably a little bit overwhelming to be here. Processing. Tyler. Coming. 
The eye graphics are so good. I keep staring at their eyes. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah. Same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Sounds easy enough. Start in the first room that we can see. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. Nice. The dryer never worked to begin with. Up evil. Energy hog. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. Nothing to see in there. Mary Ann's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Is that Mary Ann, our mom? We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Well. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be oh, a warrior. Oh, uh, where is it? You were the one who got freaked out by it. Where right. is it? Where is it? Not that she ever let me wear them very long. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Why? Where is it? The little, my screen is doing the thing. I don't know where it's at. Oh gosh, what is this? Hey mom, we're sorry the vase got broken. We didn't know you loved it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and use good judgment. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell all of, wait. I will tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We aren't gonna do it anymore. We are sorry. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her to apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? For your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. She pinched every penny. All the coupons. I can appreciate a good couponer. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. Well, kind of we are, yeah. We were, just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. We got lots of In photos here. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Where? Is it here? Where is it? I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. It's like I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. Like big mugs of hot oh, cocoa. There. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. That was the one time we were ever quiet. We knew she needed to sleep. We all needed her to sleep. Here we go. Um, Mom, about me joining the hockey team? Mom. Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised. Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Well, if you promised, Mary Ann. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired. And I'm busy. Just 
talk about this later. She's so you angry. Always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True, but it felt personal with me. Well, if you guys haven't caught on yet, Marianne is their mom, a.k.a. the lady that tried killing me, a.k.a. the lady I stabbed in self-defense because she, she tried to shoot me. Way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess. How big of a fire Oops, would it take sorry. to heat this place up? Oh, the photos. I didn't look at the photos yet, I don't think. Go. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. Ooh, I don't know if I should say want to keep some of these. I mean, some of them are probably like cool for us that like don't include her, right? You can keep some of them if you want. <sighs> no, thanks. Okay, I didn't think so. I mean, I like the photos of us, but I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Also fair. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. Those are good drawings! Save every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these that might keep. Listen, I think those drawings are pretty good. Best mom. Oh. You think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. After all this time, I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. Yeah. How are you feeling about being back? <sighs> I thought I knew what to expect, but everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. How about you? Mm, could you be okay? better. Um, yeah, it's quite a bit to process. I'm gonna say I'm not sure how I feel, because I feel like that's um, probably pretty valid. I'm honestly not sure how I feel yet. I'm just trying to think of it as an empty house. Yeah, an empty house full of actual ghosts. Hopefully yeah. they're friendly ghosts. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Yeah. Damn, I wish she fixed herself crazy. Huh. That's too this real. This still smells like Marianne. Oops. Scrub and we'll be rid of that we got too. cut off, apparently. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah. None of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. Her perfume? What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. Handmade soap. Still here after ten years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. What would little Tyler think if he walked in here right now and saw me? All right, upstairs to find the treasure box. Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's not go. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. She body blocked me. <gasps> Look at her cute little tent. Let's check up over here before we go into the room. Where'd you come from? We have a cute little upstairs area. I like it. I like it. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? Nope. What are you doing up there? Staring at you. Plotting world domination. Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, oh, that's a big responsibility. It is. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. All right. I'll be up in a second. Let's get going. I'm already coming in. Nothing. 
know this, this feels like home. They got a nice big bedroom, honestly. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. That's okay. That's sweet. Hey, Allison and Ollie, we are writing from the past. Okay, I just gathered that Ollie was Tyler's birth name. Got it. Okay. Um, we are writing from the past. What is it like in the future? Anyways, Juno is super cool. We took the tramway all the way up. Um, I'm just gonna, whenever it says Tyler, Ollie, I'm just gonna say copy? Tyler. If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Wait, I'm copy? reading! Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Oh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. Tyler was scared. Liar, we got some books, but Mommy went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. It was cool. There were a lot of whales on the ferry. No, there wasn't. They were in the water. Stupid. <laughs> Anyways, I just realized that they're, like, overlapping. Overlapping their, their stuff. Allison and Ollie, a.k.a. Tyler. What a great postcard. All right, we're looking for the treasure box. Where would I be if I was a treasure box? Oh, well, here it is. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas. What the so heck? Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. There is so many stories. Hello? Ah, uh, where is it? We'll go through that Are you later. For something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. About my diary? Oh, she she had my diary. Mom. Hi, Canadian. Mom. This is probably not a good memory. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? <sighs> what now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back, sweetie. Whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. Well, that's ironic because she actually tries to kill me later on, so. Probably like very traumatic to not only really go to the house that this all know, happened, but then like coming. literally see replays of memories of you she getting told me right to my face. Fully she was willing abused. to hurt me to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. Yeah, she went a little far. I want my diary back. Yeah, let's Her go find the it. the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her Look at that drawing right there. No, it was. Beautiful. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Oh, memory. Oh, sorry. The Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. 
Not even under a full moon, the moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! Hmm. Ice King. I totally forgot about him. It's an Ice King from That's Adventure Time. It's dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. To Mary Ann's room we go. You know what? I kind of like the wallpaper, I'm not going to lie. I kind of... It's kind of cute. I kind of F with it. Hold up. What? What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So I, let's at least I like puzzles! You have the Book of Goblins? Let's... Oh, I do. Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. I'm ready. Here it is. Ready to read. The one about the princess's party. Okay. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. All right. Let's put our brains together. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Okay. What story? Is it the story that we're on? Wait, hold on. Oops. Is this the story that we're on? She said it reminded her of a story. The frog earns the right to speak. Am I on the right story? How do I figure out if I'm on the right story? Are you sure you're gonna be able to crack it? No, no, I, are we on? Uh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I, uh, need some help. I wasn't I've got a few ideas. Okay. Okay, where do we start? The Book of Goblins. Yes. Let's read the story about the princess's Princess party. party. Okay. Yes. Thank you. That's what I needed. Okay. Thank you. I knew. I was like, I don't think it's the first page because that wouldn't make any sense. All right. Let's read. Everyone um, get, get tucked in bed. I'm going to read it from here, but you guys can't see half of it. So, But it's okay. Once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy because it was the one year anniversary of when she had run away from home. Oh, I'm noticing symbols there, but I don't think anyways. Sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed about her door. They were headed by the pelican, pious and attentive and organized by the moose, stalwart and farsighted. The old bear was there with his claws so sharp as well as the big frog, frog prattling away. Even the haughty, haughty muskrat, who almost never had time for anyone, had come. The bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would harry her path. And then the animals led to her fairy glen, where a fabulous party had been prepared. Well, before I continue on, I need to see what symbols. Okay, so we have a bear, frog, uh, a, what is that? What is this? Is that like a cat thing so bear frog uh goose moose is that okay so that's all of them right there okay the bear invited her to ride on his back promising no wolf would harry her path and the animals led to the fairy 
Glen where Febby's party had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood the pelican had served from her never emptying beak. The air was filled with the winking fairy lights. The moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky. The gregarious frog mixed up fizzing drinks. Only the muskrat had done nothing in particular, mooching off everyone else's hard work. Well, the first... The first paragraph is about the bear. So maybe it's the bear. The princess had a very good time at her party. Such a good time that she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Noticing this, the fairies devise a bit of mischief. When the princess went to open her gifts, she found, oh, three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and gasped. The entire party had vanished. Because you have taken your friends for granted, called the naughty fairies, we have hidden them for you. But we like games. Guess who has given you each of these presents and you'll get your friends back. Uh, I see. So it's the presents. The princess opened the first box. Inside, there was a torch, which, when lit, revealed the truth. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark and that I always see right from wrong. Which of my friends would give me a gift like this? She opened the second box. Inside, there was a magic sword, which would leap right out of the bearer's hand to defend them. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I am protected if I'm ever under threat. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? And she opened the third box. Inside, there was a bag of coins that always provided money if it was something the bearer truly needed. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I am hungry and clothes when I am cold. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? The princess thought about her friends, and then she smiled. Certainly, fairies, she said. I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate that all my friends have given me. I appreciate all that my friends have given me, given to me. Goodness gracious, sorry. And all that they have done for me. She gave her answers, and the vexed fairies were forced to restore the party in a flash of colorful light. One by one, she gave the animals a hug and thanked them for the presents, the party, and all they had done to help since she moved into the forest. And that is how the princess celebrated her first anniversary in the woods. Okay, so. The third box inside there was a bag of coins that always provided money if there was something the bear truly needed. I feel like that's the pelican because um is the pelican? There was a buffet of seafood that pelican had served from her never emptying beak. Hold on. Let's read. Okay. Um Sensing, they were headed by the pelican, poised and attentive, and organized by the moose. The bear was there. The bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would harry her path. And then the animals led into the fairy glen where a fabulous party had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood the pelican had served from her never-emptying beak. The air was filled with winkling fairy lights the moose had arranged. So it's something, the moose is the second. Because the moose, oh no, the moose is the first. Because there's a torch. So the moose is the first because he did the lights and the frog mixed up the drinks. So I think it's moose, bear, pelican. If I had to like guess without taking a ton. I am so smart. And boom. Love how the light We're just in. turns on. First puzzle completed. I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Yeah, I feel pretty accomplished over here. Oh, I feel like you're not going to let me forget that. Where do you think we should start looking? Oh, well, that's nice. 
I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Somewhere that we couldn't reach. Oh. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. to tell me everything they shut me out tessa they shut me out i've had so much on my plate lately and and they're convinced i'm the enemy and i don't know why i need them i need my goblins <laughs> i remember now we heard her crying we listened through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here. It's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? What this? It's mine now. Thank you. A new collectible. Uh, well, there's only one drawer we can open. So let's open it. There it is. It's I here. I am a detective. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Well, of course. Yes. She was nosy as hell. She has a book. So it looks like she was gonna try to make an effort. Tyler. But like, obviously Tyler. she didn't. What? Do a good job at that. Look. Well, but then there's like the youth camp. So that's kind of weird. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? I mean, if she pointed a gun at you, probably not good. She was mad. I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tyler... Come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Whoa. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave. And she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Well, that's probably not good to find hey sure there's plenty of fresh air and a nice view outside let's look on the bright side let's be optimistic we like to be optimistic in these games at least we have some beautiful scenery we have some fresh air that's all i've got that's it our voice is back we could see memories which is pretty cool. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Oh, this is when he cut. Okay. Cut his hair. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Is it all gone? <laughs> yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, a fast haircut. I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad. Oh. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. She said, I can't wait to show mom. Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... Like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> it's better than I would do, yeah. I probably used a... Mom? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Mom! Crap, oh, crap. Eh. Of course it's storming outside when this happens. Because, like, why wouldn't it be storming outside, you know? But what is it looking? What am I looking at? Oh. Oh. Someone outside? Like the motion sensor light. Oh, is that why you can't go to the barn? Does it happen in the barn? Maybe it doesn't happen in the house. It happens in the barn. Oh yeah, she's talking to herself. Mom? <gasps> oh. wrong. This is all wrong. Wait! Stop! So that doesn't really show much. <sighs> Interesting. we found your diary yeah me too i guess she was trying to figure out where you were at yeah well she should have asked i wasn't some goddamn research project i was her child Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. But she, she wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that, fuck. <laughs> Did we kill her for no reason? What's happening? She read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Well... Something that'll make it all make sense. I'm assuming she like points the gun she was at him unhinged. at a different So that's it then. Scene. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. She was talking to I herself. Think we'd be better off a little if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. Well, I was always her. I'm also friend. touchy about this subject. Was. But I need to go by the store anyway. 
to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. Why rush the house sale? Is something wrong with your plan? Why rush the house sale? Well, she probably just wants to get it over with, right? She seems snappy. Let's ask her if something's wrong. You've been on edge all day. Well, actually, that's also a stupid question. You? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. Oh, but she probably doesn't want to be here. I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. That book changed everything. It's important to me. That book changed everything. That book did kind of change a lot of the potential and then we found the book situation. And things changed. Facts. I don't know. You really don't get that? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Well, now that we're oh. here. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just. You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. Couldn't find the time is BS. I don't think I th think we just weren't ready to come back. That's which is it's valid that, that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Well, I mean, it's also fair on her end to be upset. But it's also fair on his end to want to hide, so. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh, God. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. Allison, the smells... <gasps> Men smell bad. <laughs> no, I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, we're going to ask all the questions. So, I was thinking, hmm? do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this. And we both agreed it's time for a clean break. How about we demolish it and then stay with I'm not talking this... about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. <sighs> well, <sighs> it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. Exactly. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time... We'll talk about it then. Okay. okay. I can work with that. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Ollie's diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Yay! Let's snoop in the Is diary! The one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Win. Mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one Mom is screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous when we... Didn't tell her that we were planning to do... Oh, what we were planning to do in the forest. Ali thinks we should tell her about the, our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked her to join the hockey team. Like, it's wrong for me to play a boys sport. I'm going to keep asking. I'll try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Alice and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Next. Saw Star Wars yesterday. Hell yeah. At Bobby's place. Luke was so great. But mom found out we watched it and got so mad. She said it was, oh, it glory, oh, it gloried war. Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? 
When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that it was my fault. Mom got angry at us. She is such a suck up. Yeah, Allison, you're a suck up. Mom's barely said anything at, to us the last few days. Allie said she saw her throwing away pages from the Book of Goblins. Do this, do that. I'm sick of her voice and I'm sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. Is that it? That's all the book? Wait, go back to it. Open it again. Turn. Nope, that's it. Just double check it. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I forgot how beautiful. Not a bad view at all. We were in our own world most of the time. The lake wasn't just a lake. It was Moon Hag's lair. And the mountain was an ice troll. True. Plus, you get used to anything if you see it every day. Not always. I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? I just, just want to get this party started. Relax and enjoy it with so much in my mind. Go ahead. I'll catch up. <sighs> All right. Did. Respond to a message. Uh -huh. My sister. The social butterfly. All right. I'll see you later. You know what? I understand why they don't want to sit, keep this Seems house. we got like... a trespasser. <laughs> what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Who is this? Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Oh, Three, probably knows me by my original two, name. Sam. Ellie? What are you doing Who's out here, this? girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam. Put the gun down. Putting a gun this at me. This is Tyler, my brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about that, but I never. What, what is this guy doing here? <laughs> Damn. You look like a real man. Ouch. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. Okay. <laughs> Don't know how to respond to that one. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Show them respect. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guess I'm the asshole again. A little bit, but we can all you learn. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. Your kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just Ooh, respect it's not that hard. Are who they say they are. Yeah. It's not hard. <laughs> I'm about no, to say it. It's hard, actually. But it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it because we aren't going anywhere. Also, doesn't really affect your life at all. So maybe just be respectful. So it's what not are that you hard. doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? You've been. The roof. Checking pipes and all that stuff. Just Thank you. Kicking it here for free oh, or what? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. What? Uh, what is this conversation happening right now? Hello? Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh yeah. Yeah. Seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just. I took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Yep. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? She's dead. Are you sure? Yes. Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. That's probably the whole point. That's probably why we're selling it. Not all. 
I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Ha. Tyler. Well, why is he? Why is he what poking Tyler his means is input on a fresh something that's not his business? Of course. Yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. Yes, it is. That's what I just said. Thanks. But maybe some good ones too. Yeah, with my sister. Oh, is this like a big decision? Oh, hold to speak using your voice. Is he hammered? He kind of does look hammered. <gasps> Whoa. We could talk. Wait, this is cool. Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. Oh, so he's a drunk. Who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now, come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. Hmm. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy. I know something about no privacy. She read my diary. Did you solve it? Yep, we did. Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh so, uh, I guess okay. you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. All right, I think we're done. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Well, what else? Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. I, I don't think I really have more okay. questions. It's probably like, dude, what are these people doing? Yeah, we're done. We should get going. That's... He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. Keys! Right. Yeah, Please. of course. Uh, get going, you two. Also, you should, well. Um, Sam, we all drunk, gotta so get going. so he can't drive. Oh. He's just gonna walk uh, somewhere? Of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Okay. He's like in love with her mom. I'm pretty sure that's really Sam? what it is. Huh? Or he was or uh, something. Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh, mm. This place, it meant a lot to your mother. Thanks. It almost felt like... Again, she's dead. It was a part of her. And, well... And it's like some part of her is alive here still. That's probably why you're trying to get rid of it. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh... This take guy's care of weird. Yourself, uh, both of you. Okay, goodbye. See you later. Hey, so we really do have a lot to do. 
Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. The little sofa has like the little bear, bear carvings. That's cute. I like that. I'm a fan of that. Hmm. Time to go to town. I just realized the thing in the corner when we're transitioning scenes is a little uh, toy in the beginning. Ready to veni vidi vecchi? I don't know what that means, but sure. I'm ready to talk to Tessa. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, Tessa, they said, was Mary Ann's, aka her mom's, like, best friend or closest friend Just when she was alive. Just keep in mind so. that your memory of her is 10 years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. Okay. Noted. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Oh! Changing people. We are now Allison. Michael, I forgot. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep. Oh, we're here co as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24/7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. What the? Hey, I'm all for efficiency. <laughs> He's chopping wood in the back. Don't wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy watching him chop wood. Um, Michael is moving to Juno too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking oh. about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some Sorry, I wasn't is paying attention. One more day off the calendar. Well, we can all live together. Don't worry. She won't. We'll get the house sold and you guys can move on. No, like with you. There could be room for you too. Yeah. For sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. Oh, hell and yeah. I only snore during allergy season and baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> uh, you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah. Oh, common There's interest. There's a spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill. Especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Uh, yeah. Friends. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I will. Don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all smeagled about holla. their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Oh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Bye, nice meeting you. Hi, Frank. Thank you for the Twitch Prime two year resub. Oh my gosh, why am I sprinting? Wait, look at the snowman. Wait. Where is it? Here it is. Thank you for the two months, Frank. Welcome back. I hope you're doing good. Casino. And noodles and spring rolls. Oh, spring rolls are so good. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Okay, so they were all really close to Tess. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? 
fried banana rolls. Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Oh, another memory. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Hey, Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Huh? Get it? I get it. It's a dome? I laugh. You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I love baiting you. It was my favorite thing. That's rude. That is a sick snowman. Thank you again, Frank. I appreciate the prime this month. All right, let's go in. It is interesting now because if Tyler says something, I don't get to control what Tyler says. So, like, if Tyler blows up on Tess, like, that's just really out of my control. Go inside or oh, sorry, I was just looking around. Muscles. Let's go. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, oh. just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> Very proud. Did you just get back into town or? More or less, we've he's, been working what's out he's at doing? the house, I think he's uncomfortable. Surprise, surprise, he's doing nothing with his hands. After 10 years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Oh, no. Just kidding. Uh, he is moving boxes. I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Probably. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. Oh. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Oh, he's Tessa's husband. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Bus snacks and drinks. Well, to be fair, it's probably awkward. Oh. You stop yapping so I can yap. You can yap for your first. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Okay, I don't even know what I was gonna say anymore. Oh, it's probably awkward when you see someone for the first time in 10 years, and the last time you saw them was no when you learned Trump that they killed here. their mom in self-defense because their mom tried killing them. And then this is their first time coming back to the house where their mom um, tried to shoot them. It's probably a little awkward, so can't, you know, really. So, what do you think his snack was? Are you a candy girl? Chips! Girl? Chips! Chips. Salt and vinegar is the only thing that sits right if my stomach's acting up. Grab the chips! Yes. Out with anybody tonight. So, let's go for it. Could make out with that guy. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic um, of a fancy ass cookbook? Uh, nope. Just browsing these fancy ass um, glacier scent candles and hey, if we buy ice cream, I don't even know what this is. Plain candles are fine. No, I didn't know these are plain. Put them back. I ruined the whole game. The whole game's ruined. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? This has some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes. No, they're unscented. Ooh, busted. I hate my life. Game is ruined. Damn, those life jackets are snazzy. Well, I don't think hmm. he's gonna like- Which one says Tyler Ronan, man of the high seas? I mean, Stars and Stripes is a classic. What? But that bright orange Gross. one would really bring out my pasty complexion. Hey Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. 
I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. Why am I actually upset that I didn't get the scented candles? Who would choose unscented candles? Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate. All right, we have to make sure we make the right choice. All surface, all purpose. I like the way this one looks more, so I will take this mm, one. Organic's better. Oh, and it's organic. Nice. I can hey, I switch out my candles? Should we get like 50 cans of peaches just in case the apocalypse hits tonight? I don't think that's necessary, to be honest. Nah, I think we'll be okay. Apparently someone hasn't been keeping up with the news. <laughs> Give me the scented candles! I want the scented candles. That pumpkin's huge. That really is one enormous pumpkin. <sighs> Fine. I do like this store though, it's a cute store. Oh! Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. I like I water. It sounded good. Water. I'm grabbing some water. You do you, girl. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Tom, can I have the scented candles instead, please? Tom Allison, is I'm running. Waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Give me a second! So impatient. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Is that oh, Tess? Hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My God, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not mm. at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. Do we think she's telling the truth? What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? It's a little weird. Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Where are you going? Oh. Uh. Guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Oh, uh, we're gonna no, uncover Tess. Go. Marianne? Tess's secrets? Can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Oh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Uh, 
Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? So something was clearly a little bit wrong with we remember that slightly Marianne and Tess. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tess, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? I... Wait, what? Please, let's just talk. Choose Allison's memory. Tessa. Talk for a few minutes. Marianne was angry. Tessa talk was angry. Now, or do I need to start calling? Wait, do I get to choose? Do I have to choose between? No, Tessa was. She it's went on Jack Thompson on okay? her. You hearing this? What? Marianne was looking for a fight. I want to talk to you now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? I want to talk. Tessa was angry. Mary Ann was. Please, let's just talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debt? Oh, I don't know. Is this like. I don't know. The Lord disciplines those. Can I remember both? You're failing these kids, Mary Ann. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you. My God, you actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine, let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. I don't know. Regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both were I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know if I was going to be able to see two me? or not. Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Oops. Well, now we know for future reference that that is kind of like the gray screen in the Life is Strange games. Hey, liar! What's up? Oh, I just teleported. Is there something I can do for you? Um, just shopping. What are you up to? Let's just get straight to the point. Hey, your fight. Marianne. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Yeah, 10 no, years is quite I'm a bit of time. Of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. I agree. <sighs> but duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe that listening song? to it will trigger something. Nice. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Hey. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? 
let's ask him everything like we're interested and then look we'll, then we'll ask him about the song what's next on the campaign trail a rally down at the harbor the fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual i've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up but also put food on the table grab some flyers help spread the word okay how's business Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. But don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. This guy yaps. It's not bad. What'll they think up next, huh? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she still got the. I thought I was going to say, "How could I forget?" And then a little actually, worse I forgot. For the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Take your time, Tom. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away. To be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Focus. This is it, right? I think so. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Is there like memories everywhere? Oh, Mom, oh. stop! That's so Mom, amazing! Mom, you're embarrassing <laughs> us! <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. You know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? I was about to say, like, definitely not all the memories are bad. Like, they do have some good memories. I don't know. They're bomb. The kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. Aw. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I will buy them with and help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. Where's another memory? Oh, here it is. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? Oh, what? No, I just had a day, okay? So, yes. I took a pill. Oh! I'm fine. There he is. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. Oh. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Oh, is that maybe she gave us the or our mom the flyer, right? I, don't know. I saw it in Marianne's the youth camp flyer or something. I didn't think much about it. It was bad though. Like maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. This is true. I want to know how Marianne felt about it. Hey. I need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. 
Hey, don't mind me. Uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Let's just snoop um on her computer. No big deal. Uh, elephant in the room. I know I know y'all don't want to have this conversation, but Lisa has flaked on rehearsals again. She hasn't shown up in weeks. I know we moved our blah blah blah. I think we just start playing the winter gala. Hey Tessie. She got back from workation and found the girls in bed sleeping like happy logs. Adrian said they were riding high when he picked them up from your place today and apparently you got them both to eat. Care, care? Please let me know what saint you prayed to to pull that off. All morning, they've been going on about the camping trip with Auntie Tessa and all the s'mores and bugs that they caught. I can't remember the last time they were both this happy at the same time. Uh, our order has been shipped. Youth camp. Wait, what? Watch. Is that what she recommended for Tyler? Watch Dr. Whitmore's say? talk. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, hold on. This is like, oh, wait, okay. Articulating God's design for sex sexuality. Ten powerful Christian quotes that will change your life. A parent's guide to preventing same-sex attraction. Oh, you know, that's what it was. The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. That's the, that's the, that's the flyer we got. What if I told you the government owed up to 10,000 cash to go to school? This is not a loan. You won't have to pay back. This is not a scam. Take this seriously. Click below to take the two minute questionnaire and claim your money. Free 10K. Can I help you, Allison? Sorry. Oh, no, no, thanks. I'm good. Just, I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Just looking at... Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Well, it's gotta be <laughs> the money that our mom owed. That is not Mary Ann. I guess it's gotta be Mary Ann. Yep, yes it is. Show. It looks like Mary Ann started flaking on her debt in October 2004. So we have paid off, paid off, paid off. That night. Oh yes. Seen enough? Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. So October, hundred forty dollars for washing machine repairs. No show. No show. No show. No show. Nice. Interesting. What's of course. Give me that. She plays Mabel in Witches of Eldum? What? Why would I know about some silly show for teenage girls? Who is he talking to? Is there something I can do for you? We remembered some details. We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts. I never. Like I'm some kind of loan shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have time stamps. <laughs> I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You're mad she bailed on you. You told her about the camp. She said You said she was failing us. What about the camp? She said she, she, said she was failing us. She did say that in the other memory, so... You said she was failing us and called her a bad parent. Was she done being judged by you? Was that it? I really have no idea what you're talking about, and I was never cruel to Marianne. I did everything I could to help her, to help you all. Even when she fought me, even when she screamed and spit in my face for the effort, even when she, even when she didn't deserve it. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Calm down. Look. We know you took care of us, and we're grateful. 
but I really need you to answer one question. When you two fought, was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No, and I think you should go now. Tessa. She's not being honest. I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do, I just... Then why won't you give us a straight answer? I... I truly don't know what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. Now, I understand that this is an emotional topic for you both. And fortunately for you, I keep forgiveness at the heart of my relationships. You're so fucking righteous. Why did you dump Marianne when she was at her worst? I will not be dragged back into this. You need to go. Now. Can we have our groceries? Uh, um, uh, Michael already put them in your truck. Cool. Bye, Tom. Well, that didn't go that well. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. You know, we might have actually gotten to the truth if you hadn't lashed out at her. I feel like I are didn't you really serious right now? have any You were on her case that. the whole time. Don't turn this on me. It's obvious she's guilty of something, and that's why she doesn't want to talk about it. Ugh, that sanctimonious bitch! Done now? You get all that out <laughs> of your system? She's a little mad. So I got so worked up. It just makes me crazy that she would play dumb like that. She knows how important this is to us, to you. Yeah, but you know, you're onto something with the guilt. She didn't want to admit what they thought about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah, she stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I, I'm really happy for you. But that just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Hmm. Hi, Sam. Hi, Panther. Well, you still have a good rest of your day. Good luck at work. And then go meet Eddie. So this Eddie is Allison's Father, adopted father, guy that adopted Allison. You know what I'm trying to say? And he's also the guy that I think sent me to Juvie or sent uh, Tyler to Juvie. Or like was one of the cops involved in that situation. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Damn. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? It is creepy. Look at him! What? He's a local officer hero. Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. Yeah, Justin He's Beaver. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Justin Beaver. What is this? Too little Protect too salmon late. migration. Stop hunting. Lodge construction. National Guard. Three close for cleanup. A 
Let's take you for a ride. Talk to Chief Brown for more information. Is this whose office is this? It's locked, so it doesn't even matter. Of course, it's locked. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spend a lot of time. I don't like this. It's creepy. Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. Exception. Everything's locked. Locked. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? That's what I'm saying. Let's go through his mail. Patient transfer to Dallas. Da, 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 Kevin Sutton. And Dean Becker. Oh, Greg's just leaving this out on display again. Greg. I see that there is a. Greg, the one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. I love that we're just snooping through every, everyone's stuff. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? What the? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Oh no, it was her birthday. Oops. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Oh, we could write her a happy birthday. Yes. We'll write something then. Oh, here we go. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. There you go. Hi, TJ. How are you today? Damn, we're just doing through everything. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. She's going to give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. We wrote it. It's okay. Oops, everyone wrote something and I didn't. That's so awkward. That's fine. I wrote I wrote it on the sticky note. She won't even know. Oh, we can't shoot. make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Damn. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. I feel like these are all going to be locked. Mm. Eddie must have locked it already. You no, know he's upstairs. I'm assuming this is also locked, but I'm going to try opening it anyways. Oh, just kidding. Oh, we don't even care to go in there. <sighs> something's in the way. Oh, something's in the way. Can't go up there. All right, we go upstairs. Tyler, you coming? Up armory. This is his office. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. 
Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Okay. Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh huh. Memory? Is that where we slept for the night? I'm gonna well, assume. I really thought I'd lock those memories in some that's deep, that's deep part break, of my brain. Though. Same here. Why, why do I have this? Where's our memory? Maybe it's in the break room. Okay, let's go in. Where's this stupid memory? Ugh, they've let this place get gross. Move this out of the way. Enjoy your afternoon stroll. It's so nice outside. Expected. We don't actually need to go out there, but. I'm not going in. Okay, never mind. All you right. Think they'll mind if I take one? No, go ahead. These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Let's make a cup How of coffee. So warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Is that where we slept? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? What we lie about? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. What? I have so much more to explore. Do you mind if I go inside? What did that they room lie about? Uh, you sure? Getting these like little memories that I can explore, and then I'm not getting. Wow. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here. Oh. Have a seat. All right. Oh, there's that vase. It's broken. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Huh. What's that back there? Collectible no item! Have you been hiding back here all this time? I know, I love snooping. Oh, it's the Ice King. These are all like the, the all the collectibles are the uh, all the characters from the Goblin Goblin Tales books. So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. Yeah, but we're snooping. There's another memory I'm missing. Here we go.
Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. So they're like really young in this. I'm trying to like think of what age you would be, like eight? Okay. Yeah. I just usually try my best Wait, not no. to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. It was only 10 years later, right? Not 15. So they were like 11, 12 maybe? Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored and nobody has bothered to peel it off. Did we even drink the coffee that I made us? Can we snoop in anybody's locker? Oh. Yep, it's locked. All right. I'm gonna go. Oh, see, where? Where is that memory that I keep getting? Yep. But yep. I think so. We need a key to open it. Why are we gonna get into the crazy dude's locker? Oh, it's a Denise? Well, we know where her key is. Dude, where is his memory? Oh, here it is. It's right outside. Did I just totally miss that? Where are we going? We're just going to sit down in here, and I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. This is obviously the night that... My mom died. Yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to deal, but it's a lot. Damn, we're gonna snoop on her birthday or what? Right, is this her desk? She won't notice if we borrow this, right? Happy birthday. We're gonna go through your stuff. Okay, we just have to make sure we put it back where we found it. <laughs> Sam, have a good rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we're just borrowing it. We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but we never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. Uh, new administrative, administrative software. Please reset your password with the introduction of our new administrative software. Why did I say it twice? <laughs> all employees must reset their password. Please note that the reception desk computer can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Talk to Sally or me if you have any questions. Interesting, okay, so we can use any, any, any officer's ID to get into the front desk. All right, let's put the key back. Nice. The noise. I guess this is true, right? We have all the all the Ooh, keys to everything. Rose never lets me back here. Huh. Rose.
always left the computer on. Oh, we had this memo already. Uh, how, there was not a password though that we saw, right? Like I didn't see a password in her locker. Excuse me! I can't believe they're going to prison for nothing. Yeah, I have not tried one, two, three, four yet. It was her birthday, so what? What day is it? Maybe it's Denise's birthday? Our 29th birthday. Hope the good year. Have a kick ass. Enjoy your year before the bears. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe I missed it. Oh, she that's true. It is letters. This, right? Long oh, as we put wait. It back, I'm not right? a good detective. Me? Hold on. No, no. Don't put it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I was putting it back. Give me a second. Go back over here. Unlock the locker again. You're right, it's not numbers, it's it's letters. Okay. Winter on my twentieth birthday. Winner on my 20th birthday. What? She had like a little dog drawing. I There's should take her out for a birthday drink. Remember this fella? No way. That jet. Jet. Yep. He uh he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Damn. Winter on my twentieth birthday. Oh wait, here we go. The dog winner list. And this is Denise? Where are my 20th birthday? She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Yes. Oh yeah, she goes to the Iditarod every year and she's got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man. Your dog's name what again? Kind of kooky shit people are into out here. Hey now, I'm in the league. This is Denise Wilson. We go by last name first. Would she be on here, right? She's 29 now. Is this like up to date? So would it be Doug? If it's, oh, it's 2015 now, actually, sorry. We're in 2015. She was a winner on her 20th birthday and she just turned 29.
So, bitch, question mark. Hold on. Right, because it's five letters. Is this not her? Oh, 2006? Was I not looking at 2006? What the? This puzzle is puzzling. Examine! Ugh. I'm gonna get patient. Examine. I should take her out for a birthday drink. 2006? Wow, I was definitely not looking at Oh, I was looking at 2004. Jeff King, Salem? We had Salem then. It's 2006. And this is, yes, this is Denise Wilson, so D. Wilson. Bingo. Nice. Thank you for doing the math for me. <laughs> Anything juicy? Just Denise's work emails. Dun, dun, dun. Also, want to let you know there's people as expected time. Uh, Wear well, your nicest suit. I think these kids really enjoy your talks. Luxury at Youth Center. Dun, dun, dun. Your order has been shipped. Just between us two, season two. Miss Reynolds brought a set of keys that she found lying on the ground outside of vet jesus morning three small keys plus a bottle opener if anybody comes in looking for them they're in the lost and found cupboard oh i would have found this properly but that new administrative software bullshit was down all day seriously whose idea was it to change it That was not that exciting. Excuse me! Move! <laughs> was I supposed to, like, get something there? All I got was that there's keys in the lost and found. So maybe we're supposed to take those. There's nothing really else in her email. I don't know where the lost and found cupboard is. Move! <laughs> lost and found. Maybe it's upstairs, perhaps? I don't know. I feel like I'm just moving so slow right now. I wonder if you can go in the holding cell. Nope. Lost and found. Give me a second. Why is there so many missing people? I feel like I'm confused why we would go all for that effort to like find her password. Hey, sorry that took so long. If there was nothing in her email, but maybe Sometimes I had to go through somebody else's email, I have no idea. Lonely. No worries, uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah. Of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan. Back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. 
I always say children are the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. we left all the Not doors sure open. I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually, it's the other way around. Hmm. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Interesting. Very Thanks, interesting. Uncle if you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. Too late, we're already starting. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. Yeah. And that's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be <laughs> sure. I can't believe this. Look. We couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, oh. let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her, but it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that, and three years, is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Well, yeah, but then it adds an extra 10. I don't know. I, I do think that Eddie did try and do his best for me, though. I don't think that's fair to pin it on Eddie. I mean, you kind of get in that situation and you're like, I don't know what the hell to do. So I feel like, I don't know. I also think, I mean, as much as like, you then Tyler needed his time away from me. But that was an extra three years that like we could have been healing together and then going through this process. But then Tyler then chose to not, you know, see me. So I don't think it's fair to entirely put it on Eddie because Eddie's probably coming into the situation and just trying to do what is best. And it might not be what was actually best, but I do think that he probably was trying his best, right? That's what I think. Eddie was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. Well, you are. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family, too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. Like it's in my mind, it's I'm not entirely this. fair to pin it all Wanna on Eddie when Tyler also needed time. Well, we're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. 
Don't want to send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. I don't think I made him very happy. Sorry, Tyler. Ah, I don't like this zoom in. What is this? Oh, I feel like I'm making all the wrong decisions in this game so far. Ricky, thank you for the Twitch Prime 55 month resub. What the hell is that? I looked away for two seconds. What was that? What was that? What was that? Hey, what was that? Hey, what? Hey, what was that? Oh, we're going back to the scene. books or their stories that they made well she does still have the gun in her hands please mom i'm sorry i cut my hair i won't do it again i'm going to kill you what no. please I'm not showing your no, face. Please. Why? No, don't do this. <gasps> what if it was actually Allison that stabbed her? Oh my gosh, it was. It wasn't Tyler. <gasps> oh! Uh. Oh my gosh, it wasn't Tyler that stabbed her, it was Allison. I was wondering why Allison was having a harder time, it felt like, than me. Allison, we need to call for help. And that's what we lied about. We lied. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're gonna tell them. Oh my gosh. No. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. Whoa! It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Well, then I feel like my answer should have been keeping us apart was wrong. Right? Because I, I I mean, I know, obviously. But he, he did still try his best. That's kind of, wow. I don't know. What? So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the first chapter. I just want to preface, there are some choices I definitely would have done differently. So don't be mad at me, okay? I'm already beating myself up over it. Um, but you know what? It is what it is. We live and we learn and we go forward. But this chapter did end on a kind of like insane note. Um, definitely did not see that coming. So I'm really excited to get into the next chapter. There's only three. I hope you guys enjoyed the first chapter and I will see you guys for chapter two. Bye.